So, it was brought up to my attention in one of my clan discords that you might want to hold off on using your Hydra keys right now. Just wait for a bit. Usually what I do for Hydra, I knock it out as soon as I possibly can, just to get it out of the way for the week. But um, I know a lot of people do the same thing. I haven't really seen this talked about in Channel 2 or in the Discords until just recently, when we were reminded, hey, or were we notified? We were notified to um, to hold off. And that's because of this right here. This picture of Hydra Clash, and you know I'm going to dive into this here, but update 9.0. I'm pretty sure the other bigger CCs have already talked about this, and so some of you guys already know, and if you don't know, then that's perfect, but if you already know, then... Um, this is what we're talking about. You can stay if you want to hear me. If not, I'd probably go, I don't know, watch a YouTube video on something else. So, as you can see here, it says get chests with powerful accessories based on your personal clash points earned. So, the way Hydra works, for those who don't know, is there's this tab right here, which basically correlates. Um, let me see if I can actually dive in here. Uh, let's see. So, this right here. Nobody's done it in this clan. If if you can get the top chest here, that's all you need to worry about. This is the PvE section. The PvP section right here shows you the chests that you can get based on personal clash points earned. So you yourself need to be earning 650 million to get the absolute top chest if your entire clan plas, uh, places first. If you guys place first, if your clan places first, and you only do 350 million um, just about, then you're only gonna get this bottom chest. But that, that's that's what that is in a nutshell, all right? Let me uh, actually throw myself into a thing here for CVC. <clears throat> Sorry to clear my throat there. But yeah, that, that's what this is. So we're gonna dive into this right here. It says from Olenka, update highlights 9.10 hello everyone it hasn't been that long since we released siege but a new update is already due to go live and by the way this siege thing i saw people were commenting down here about siege so people are talking about things here and i want to go ahead and dive into what they're saying uh, just as well i think that could provide some value at least some entertainment value this time we'll focus on Q, uh, quality of life features such as new milestone rewards for Hydra Clash, new clan league improvements on the summon pool events. Take a look at the highlights below to get details. Here's a little teaser for you. We have a new event in the works and we'll de dedicate a separate highlights article uh, to it soon. So Hydra Clash milestone rewards. What's this link here? What does that do? Oh, okay. Update 9.10 will introduce new personal rewards to Hydra Clash. This is why we're saying, you know, hold off until this update, which I think is rolling out pretty soon, uh, is in here. Uh, I think last night I had to update on my iPhone the uh, Raid Shadow Legends app, so I'm pretty sure it's coming around like in the next couple of days. Idea is simple. You participate in Clash, accumulate points until you reach a certain milestone. That's right oh, here milestones right here on the bottom um and unlock its respective rewards there are four milestones each offering one of the hydra clash chests similar to those that you would normally receive if your clan performs well enough in clash so this on the bottom she's saying that it's going to be similar to these so what do we get from the chest what, what's inside here i mean we've seen quartz we've seen um mythical tomes we've seen i think that some some people i've seen got primal shards in of it himself then you got protection gear you have stone skin uh some clash or sorry some um what do you call it clan medals there's that too i'm probably missing something else i feel like i'm missing something else but those are the types of rewards that you can receive um let's see ba -ba -ba -ba. Feature various rewards, including stone skin and protection accessories. Both very good, very important, because these are the only places that you can get these accessories from. And as you know, um, stone skin is pretty much everywhere nowadays. Uh, you know, you bring them into PvP, stone skin. There's workarounds with stone skin. There are some champions that can do things against stone skin. But for the most part, you're dealing with that 50-50. And it's 
quite annoying. It just kind of prolongs the fight, and that's th sort of the biggest issue with Stone Skin. But like there, there are things you can do with that in PVE as well. Like uh, I don't know, setting up your your Sand Devil team a specific way using Stone Skin protection accessories. I currently got, I um recently I should say recently got Makage and put her in nine piece protection. Awesome champion. All of my champions are doing an extra five percent bonus damage per buff that she places. She places two, um, which is increased attack and crit damage on her form one when it comes to Hydra. So everybody's doing more damage. Awesome champion. Uh, and, you know, gen generally speaking, protection goes really well on somebody like Sefi, in, especially in PvP. So you will earn these points over multiple clashes. So not just one, multiple. And once you claim the last chest, your points will reset so you can repeat the process and earn milestone rewards anew. What does that mean? Let me break that down for those of you who don't understand. You will earn over, you will earn points throughout each iteration of Hydra Clash. So the more damage that you do, the more points you put up each clash, the faster you're going to get to that 1.2 billion. If each fight you're doing 1.2 billion, then you're going to get all of these chests here. But if not, it's something that you're going to work to. The um, the points that you get here will carry over onto the next fight, right? So let's say this this round or this time around, uh, our clan shits the bed and we don't do too well. We don't even win. Well, guess what? The personal points that you put up, your personal clash points will still go here. You're going to be working towards something. You're still going to be getting something. This is in response to a lot of people saying that, hey, we're not able to get one, two, or three. We're not able to get first, second, or third place ever because we keep going up against people who have the Wixbill Yannicka combo or some type of cheese team, or you're going up against people who just have been playing for like a really long time and they have all the champions, or um, you're going up against Krakens. These, these, this is the answer that Polarium's giving us to those who are saying that they can't get any of these rewards right so as long as you're just basically showing up as long as you're putting points up you're going to be getting something and i think this is a happy medium it's not really nerfing any of the champions it's not really um changing the way the mechanics are i mean this is what raid kind of does right they just add things to kind of deal with the current issues at hand right Taurus, Mariska were a big problem for a long time. What did they do? They added new champions. They added Armands. They added um, Narses and, and Korra. So this is their workaround. So as long as you're doing something each and every time, you're putting up points, your points are going to carry on over into the next iterations of Clan Clash. So basically, um, this is kind of a win for the community, right? That's the way that I see it. Um, new, new Clan League. Platinum Clan will become available in the new update. Tweak CVC tasks to match uh, match the change. And more importantly, we're introducing new siege tasks to reward the clans that perform well in this PvP mode. So, and then it goes into rebalancing champions. But I want to talk about what some of the people are saying down here. Uh, you know, I like getting input. And uh, I, I have to assume, right, if they're, if they're commenting here on the raid forum... I have to assume that these guys are good representatives of the community because they went out of their way to post here in the Polarium forum. Not in Reddit, not in the YouTube comments, not saying that those guys aren't valid. You guys are more than definitely valid. But this is just like another work. This is like a third thing. You know what I mean? Siege Aura lead patch when? That's right. When are they going to do that? Can someone confirm or deny personal rewards are the only change planned for Clash in the immediate future? I love that it gives less endgame clan members reward, even if they aren't able to reach the regular milestones. I'm all for that part, but it does nothing to address how much of a massive time sink clash is. True. That's why you have to work towards auto. Just throw it on auto. Just throw it in there. Knock it out at the beginning of the week and call it a day. Speculation was that the max turn count might be lowered. Is that something that's in the works? I hope they don't lower the, the max turn count because that just means that we're not going to be able to do as much damage. Great job buffing champions and boosting us other Hydra accessory chests. Could I ask why it takes so long to buff champions? Is it low on the priority or is it um, taking long testing queues before it can be released? Uh, yeah, that's true. I feel like they don't they don't really um, update champions too well. 
more slots to all gold tag team arena. Yeah, I hate having to... That's like the worst thing. This is so annoying. I hate going to... Um, this is my third account, by the way. I hate going to tag team arena for my defenses and having to constantly... Like, if I want to take these guys out... Oh, what the heck? There's nobody here? I'll just throw you in there. It's fine. I hate having to... Um, for, I guess if I want to take these guys out, right? There's no filter, no reserve team I can just pop at pop in i have to like go in manually and then i have to set everything one by one and that's kind of a hassle but yeah stop releasing crap mythic champions for fuck's sake half the pools are already terrible champions people are less likely to drop a wad of cash knowing champions like mesomel calamity and andro galeas and fromley are in the same i thought mesomel was a great champion ridiculous buff these champions uh, Polarium, they are mythic. Don't give the same stupid response you give with legendaries. Not all legendaries can be great. They are mythical and generally cost a thousand dollars each, so buff them. That is. This is very. This is true, right? Because their excuse was not every single legendary champion can be powerful or like insane, but guys, they are mythicals. Mythics are hard to get. The shards cost a lot. I believe this generally costs a thousand dollars each. So I would definitely say you got to buff and make sure that every mythical champion that pops out is awesome. This ten times I don't know ten hundred million billion percent biggest block for most people getting Romantu each gold three v three mission. Palerium knows that garbage. Uh, that mission is garbage. You can get Mar Marius, who's a way better champion, without getting the gold three v three. Uh, I remember struggling in, in that mission. Trying to get to gold one from silver four was, was hard. Uh, you need to address huge issues with clan siege. The roles of deputy and lieutenant are obsolete. They serve no useful purpose at all. Being able to set a flag and mark buildings for repairs is utterly useless. They should be able to move defenses around. The fact that there's no clan leader or deputy to see who's in the clan, who's set a defense and who hasn't, is a disaster. You have to use a pen and paper to go every single defense slot florin's gain is ridiculous fix the florin's gains or vastly reduce repair and upgrade costs bonus from the magic towers are so bad on one and two that no one uses them simply aren't worth it before level three has many effects one being less important to repair buildings at all why even bother when the bonus is insignificant better spent in the post and then he breaks if you want to pause i'm not going to read this entire thing but if, if you want to pause this and see everything that he's talking about you know go ahead and uh, do that. Like I think, yeah, very well said. In fact, this might just have to be like its own, own video. But um, Mr. Nuffle, yeah. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of people talking about this one. So very well, very agreed, agreed. Thanks everyone for your siege feedback. I'll make sure it gets the Polarium. One thing I'd have to add is that there's zero reason not to be able to actually set a defense with presets in Siege mode. I don't have enough spots on regular arena and CVC to be able to add, to be able to add three from Siege as well. That's true. Begging for presets for months. Stronghold level two, your opponents gain an extra one attack scroll and then extra re-battle scroll per player. What the fuck? Why? Agree with you both. Definitely an improvement of rewards, but it does nothing to improve the ridiculous amount of time it takes to run hydra thank you for your comments and your suggestions improving ignatius's skills we'll be able to pass them along for the uh, general consideration yeah i think the biggest thing here is like if this is a good thing i think when it comes to improving the rewards so that everybody at least gets a piece of the pie even if it's just a crumb right or it takes a while for the pie to get into the oven and bake but it still takes hours to run hydra you know what i mean Granted, if you're like me, you just kind of don't care anymore and you just throw it on auto and like go watch a movie with your wife or something, you know, that that's that's one thing. But there are people out there who do spend like three hours doing manual Hydra runs. That's kind of on them, really. But, you know, people pick and choose their, their cake and if they want to eat that cake, they can eat that cake too. So it's up to them. I don't judge. As always, it's been Burrito. Peace.